Watch you guys, got another video here for you. In this one, we're going to be looking at how we can check our hard drive for errors. Now, there's a, probably 101 different ways of going about doing this, but I'm just going to show you a piece of software called HD Tune Pro. Now, it's not a free piece of software, but I do think it's worthy of a shout because it's got a load of features in there and you can get a load of features all in one program, i.e. you can disk monitor your uh, drive here, you can f uh, benchmark your drive, you can also check the health of your drive, scan for errors, and all that sort of good stuff, okay? And you can also take snapshots and post them on forums if you're asking for help. Now, you may be asking yourself, uh, why am I doing a video about checking hard drive for errors? Because it's such a basic task. But you'll be surprised, there's so many people that don't even know how to check their drive for errors or to see whether their drive is going bad. Now, there is loads of other software out there, guys, and I know that, but this is a, a video that I wanted to do with this particular piece of software. So let's take a look at it. So once we've got our uh, piece of software open, as you can see here, we've got the uh, HD Tune Pro. And it's the latest version. Now, I've also got it uh, changed onto my uh, passport drive here, which is my USB flash drive, which allows you to check other drives that are all plugged in. Okay, So you don't have to just check um, the actual C drive. You can check external drives and all that sort of good stuff with this piece of software. Now we're going to start off here with the benchmark area. You can see we've got a benchmark here, so you can benchmark it and you can do reads or writes to this drive as well. And all you need to do is just click on start and it will start to benchmark that. Okay, and you start to get the minimum and maximum. Okay. Now remember that this drive is a USB flash drive. It's not my C drive that we're testing because I'm on a virtual machine. Uh, but you've got information here which allows you to get information for this drive and uh, it gives you all the information that you need, the firmware version, the serial number, uh, the capacity, uh, buffer, and uh, sector size, and all that sort of good stuff, okay? So your serial number is really important as well. If you're looking to send it back under warranty, uh, you will need all that sort of information, okay? In, also, the firmware information is pretty good as well, uh, but as, as you can see here, we've got tick boxes in all the sort of stuff that you want to keep tick. This is all by default. I've not touched any of this sort of stuff. Now let's move on to the health tab here. You can see we've got um, the health of this drive here. It gives you the full information here. The raw read and error rate. You can see here the current and worst threshold data and it's all status is okay. You can run that down, have a quick check here as well. And you can see down the bottom left hand corner health status is okay, it's green there. Okay, and you can see the next update. It will continually uh, update this information every uh, so often. You can see it's ticking down here. You can get a log for this as well if you want to by clicking on log and it gives you a log. I'm just going to close it off. You can export this out if you want to and then you can post that data onto a forum or whatever you like. Uh, we're going to move on to the error scan here. Again, you can do a quick scan here if you wish or do a more in-depth scan but what this is going to do is check for damaged blocks uh, and stuff like that okay so we're just going to do a quick scan here and you'll see a load of green uh, things going across now this is because I've got it on quick scan here um, if I took the quick scan off it will be quite some time it will take a bit of time to scan across this is probably just scanning across the tip of the uh, the top of the uh, drive there okay and it will give you um, some information at the end of the uh, test here okay and also you can scan, uh, take a snapshot of these results as well, save, save snapshot. So you can take a snapshot here, like I'm going to do. And uh, we're just going to put this onto our desktop right now. And just say, for instance, that had finished. Uh, we can open this up now and you can see it's made a nifty little snapshot of that there. So you could post that straight onto a forum and uh, say, this is what's happening. I'm getting red blocks here. And that would mean you've got damage to the drive. And you can show someone that who's more uh, got some more skill level than you in that sort of topic. And they could help you and say, yep, you need a new drive or run this check, uh, check disk on the drive and stuff like that. Okay. So again, folder usage, uh, you can move on to this here and uh, scan for folder usage. This will actually scan the whole drive and see what folder is being used. You've got the erase feature here, which is another nice feature, which allows you to zero the drive. And uh, you can select, uh, you can verify it as well. And you can see here, random fill, uh, Dodd, and all Gutterman. Okay, I wouldn't really advise you using this sort of Gutterman sort of method. That's a pretty hefty method. That's a, 
a massive pass on the driver. You can see 35 passes, a little bit too much really, uh, and you're going to really sort of uh, probably end up damaging the drive at the end of it all. Uh, but you can see here just a zero fill, and that will wipe the drive clean. Again, we're going to move up to the top here. Uh, file benchmark, again transfer speeds, stuff like that. You can do uh, all this sort of stuff here. And you've got plenty of uh, inf information here you can change if you wish. And you can choose your drive letter and stuff like that if you've got more drives on there. Uh, disk monitor, again this will monitor the disk. And uh, you can see we've got block size, position, programs and uh, statistics. And uh, you can just push the start on this and it will start to monitor that drive. Now normally uh, sometimes uh, problems arise um, intermittent issues and uh, intermittent times and uh, this could then pop up on this screen here and then you'll suddenly realize that it's hit a bad sector and it will show up here okay so you just leave that running and that will start to monitor uh, the uh, drive I'm going to stop that again you can uh, enable the uh, AAM which is your uh, low noise and high, high performance Random access, again you can start this, read and write random accesses to the drive, you can see. So it's got loads and loads of good information here now, really what you're um, looking at really for yourself, extra tests here you can see, cache and stuff like that, but what you're looking at really is uh, some more simple stuff, i.e. just running some checks on the drive, and also disk monitor and also checking the health of the drive. Now there's also um, a smart reading on the drive as well. Now you can also see we've got a temperature of that drive. It lets you know what the temperature is. You can click on this and it will give you the temperature. The power cycle temperatures, minimum max. Uh, current temperature, which is 31 Celsius. And uh, if, you, if you don't know, understand what these are, if you post them on a, a technical support forum like my own, my own forum or anyone else's forum, uh, they will be able to look at this and tell you what the... Uh, danger zone for certain hard drives and stuff like that is okay and it will sort of give you an idea of what's going on but you can see here it gives you some good information and you can take snapshots of all that information there copy snapshots to your clipboard again up the top copy information to your clipboard options inside your options here you can set this all up uh, how you wish full test partial test and so on benchmarking temperatures you can change it to Fahrenheit if you live in a different uh, place where they uh, work in Fahrenheit instead of Celsius. Or you can uh, show both if you wish on the main screen. Health, again, monitor health during testing. You can do that as well. And you can do health, uh, health check intervals of certain uh, minutes. So if you want to l lengthen those up a little bit so they don't happen so frequent, you can do that. Or if you wanted to lower it down and try to capture it all the time, you can lower that down as well. And you can save all this information as well. So I'm going to click OK here. And uh, also you can check the smart on the drive as well and stuff like that. And you can see we've got some extra tabs up the top here. But that's pretty much it in a nutshell. It's pretty straightforward and easy to use. And that is the HD Tune Pro uh, 5.60 of release of this video. It's a pretty awesome bit of kit and I think it's worthy of a shout. So if you've got errors where you're driving on, check it out. Then you can always hit the error scan and just quickly run a scan on that there. And that will give you some... Uh, checks of your drive okay and these will normally show up red if they're da damaged okay and that's pretty much it i'm going to end this video and uh wrap it up my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit the like button also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when i upload new videos and if you've got any video requests or any problems with your computers or anything like that you can always head over to the forum it doesn't cost you anything you can register over there and join the community and post up there that's probably your best place uh, to get hold of me anyway Thanks again for watching, guys. Thanks for your support. Bye for now.